So we just had a massive leak for Season 9 Overwatch, letting us know all the upcoming patch notes. They were so wild that most people don't even believe they are real, but the reality is all signs point to them being legit. It was originally shown by Rupal on his stream, seeing as he is under no NDA with Blizzard. It should be no surprise if you're an avid Overwatch fan, that every season many creators get access to early content while under an NDA to then show it off to their fans. This might include some of your favorite YouTubers or streamers who get to play and get gameplay for the new seasons early, which is usually where those seasonal leaks come from as time to time someone will break their NDA and share information. This time around it seems that is exactly what happened, but someone shared the info over to Rupal who then shared it over on his stream. Now let's talk about what happened after the leaks went public. Nearly every single semi to large creator for Overwatch decided to go ghost yesterday and take the day off and also forgot that the leak even happened on their streams or in their videos there is no mention at all, even though it's arguably some of the biggest Overwatch news we have received to date. It's almost as if they're under an NDA to not talk about the next season, and covering the leak which goes over all the changes would be breaking that NDA exactly. Others are catching on to this like Flying Moosin, who when deciding if the leaks are real or not, said the biggest hint is almost the lack of reaction from some of the biggest content creators in the space. Normally, they would be milking this news dry with videos and posts like No Tomorrow, but it's been mostly radio silence. Unless everyone decide to take the day off, it's looking like those under NDA are keeping quiet, which ironically kinda says a lot. The next reason is how in-depth they are. Normally fake leaks seem obviously half-baked and irrational. Some might say the leaks are irrational when you're just looking at it with first glance, but when you look at all the pieces together and how they will be affecting gameplay, they actually make sense in how they interact. As well, all these changes line up with statements Blizzard has made in the past about future hero changes. For example, Miss Kalanya broke down all the changes and their implications on gameplay. I've been seeing for a while that a lot of people wanted global nerfs to both damage and healing in order to make health matter more. That's basically what this is. Instead of thinking of it as health being increased by 20%, think of it as damage and healing being 20% less effective. For supports, it's going to take longer to heal their team to full and more ammo resources needs to be used. But to compensate, in between fights that process is sped up, thanks to the global healing passive. Support damage breakpoints also get messed up with this. Anna now kills in 4 shots instead of 3, Alari can't 2 shot body shot tracer anymore, and Kiri no longer 2 shot squishies. For damage players, it will take more shots to kill a target, and breakpoints have changed. But now you have a passive that decreases healing, making it easier to focus down targets. I really feel like this is the D power creep patch that so many people ask for, but many are focusing too hard on the HP increases without thinking about what it actually means in practice. As well as this, user Vincent Strange broke down 6 problems this patch will solve, like burst damage is too strong, sustain is too high, hit scan is too dominant, projectiles are too weak. Pocketed DPS are frustrating to play against, supports are better DPS, DPS do not feel impactful. So although at first glance the leaks may seem off because there can be spelling mistakes or a wrong number but that really doesn't prove anything because of the patch notes were clearly being rewritten into a notepad from where they were originally shared. Whether it was by word in a call or from a private blog. If the leaks are fake, why doesn't anybody who played the new season come out and say they aren't real? Just some things to think about as all signs are pointing to this being the biggest Overwatch update we have seen to date. Literally what some people are calling Overwatch 3, which we will be finding out in less than a few weeks all the official season 9 changes, so subscribe now.